What's going on everybody? I'm back with another high risk coin pressure video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a $130 million buy-in. They only gave us one quarter for $130 million. This is by far the riskiest game I've ever played before. So let's set that quarter right there in the center. See if we can get a nice push. Oh yeah, one quarter fell down to the lower shelf. Oh my goodness, did you see that? Got a bunch of quarters out of that. Wow, check this out. We got like 20 quarters back right there. That is exceptional. So let's put a couple quarters in there to time. Oh my goodness, a bunch fell down on that right side. That great big old tower, $10,000 chips just moved a little bit. Goodness gracious. Well, they got this thing stacked up amazingly well today. There's so many towers in there, too many of them to count. They got a ginormous spiral tower, a $25,000 chips on the pusher. Two $5,000 chip towers. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, that was a spectacular push right there. Anyhow, let's go collect those quarters and I will finish explaining what all they got in there today. Be right back. Alrighty, AMB coin pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So we probably got about 55 quarters now, something around that. There's still a whole bunch of quarters on the edge. So anyway, back to telling y'all what they got in there today there's a massive tower $25,000 chips on the pusher two $5,000 chip towers they got two massive towers of $10,000 chips on the blue shelves goodness gracious $1,000 chip towers $5,000 chip towers all kinds of gold towers oh my goodness wow Oh yeah, jackpot baby, nice. We got a whole bunch of towers to fall down on that right side. Oh my goodness, that was a waterfall of $5,000 chips, $1,000 chips, $10,000 chips, everything. We're winning so much money. And uh, they got a massive tower of quarters right there in the center. So anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters. So let's go see what we've won and we'll get right back to pushing. Oh yeah, nice. Check this out. So we got two mystery bags and two of these $100 chips. Oh my goodness. A couple more $5,000 chips fell off of that right hand side. So anyhow, let's get right back to pushing. That previous round was pretty successful. We made a ton of money and uh, we got a ton of quarters now also. I think we got close to 350 quarters. So it's doing amazing. Oh yeah, that $5,000 chip tower back there on the pusher on that left hand side. That's about to go. Oh my goodness, wow! Check that out, that left side's going. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, jackpot baby, nice! Holy guacamole, we got all them towers on the left hand side to go. Now we just need to get that massive tower right there. And speaking of the mystery bags, I think there was a total of six mystery bags in there today. And we already got like two or three of them to go. We got that red one that was on the left side. And there's three more on there. Oh yeah, that quarter hop tower, it's about ready to go. Come on, big push. Oh my goodness, wow, we got it. Holy guacamole, that was a fabulous push right there. This is doing exceptional. And all those $100 buy-in chips, I think we got two of them so far. There's another one right there in the center. Those don't have any cash value. They're just entries into a free $100,000 buy-in giveaway. And they pretty much mean the exact same thing as the Bitcoins. Well, speaking of the Bitcoins, I haven't seen those in there in probably, goodness, probably a month or two now. So, hope they didn't discontinue those. Even if they did, it's not really that big of a deal because I never had much luck winning the Bitcoin giveaways anyway. I've won one free $500 buy-in giveaway once before, but that's been like two or three years ago. So, haven't won that free $100,000 buy-in yet. Anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters, so let's go collect the quarters and we'll get right back to pushing. You all are not going to believe this. Check this out. There was a red mystery bag hidden in there. I'm 99.9% .9 sure it was hidden inside of that quarter hop tower. So that's another mystery bag to add to the pile. I think that makes seven mystery bags in total that we have the potential to win. There's still three more in the play field. We'll probably win them later on. So anyhow, let's go ahead and open up both of these smaller mystery bags. Let's go ahead and start with the red one. 
This one feels like it's loaded up pretty well, so let's see. What do we get? Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. We got three of the white dice. If you don't know what the white dice are for, we get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by those numbers. That is absolutely phenomenal. So now let's go ahead and check out this blue mystery bag. This one feels like it's stacked up pretty well also. Oh yeah, nice. Check this out. We got two of the gold dice. If you don't know what the gold dice are for, we get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, the gold will multiply by those numbers. That is absolutely phenomenal right there. So anyway, let's get right back to pushing. We got about 2,000 quarters now. And also, that previous round, we made a tremendous amount of money. Goodness gracious. I'd say we've won... Oh my goodness, wow! We got that gigantic tower, $25,000 chips to crash down. That is absolutely exceptional. Yeah, that's where all the big money's at right there. Anyway, I was going to say we've won a total of like 5 million in chips so far. But now I'd say we're going to have close to 10 to $12 million since we got that massive tower, $25,000 chips. Yeah, it only takes four of those to make 100 grand. All those add up incredibly quick. And we just about got the whole entire machine cleared out. Still quite a few $5,000 chips on the left. A whole bunch of $25,000 chips in the center. Alright, let's get that loot chute emptied out real quick. Well, after we run out of quarters, I will open up another mystery bag, so stay tuned for that. And leave a guess down in the comments. Let me know what you think might be inside of those mystery bags. Yeah, I hope we can get that $5 chip today. That way we don't have to pay to get the blue shelves cleared off. Yeah, and there's actually quite a few ways I could get them towers that are on the blue shelves. The first way, I could stack the quarters up really high back there on the crusher. And for example, say that $1,000 chip tower back there was like hanging over that blue shelf just a little bit. If I stack the quarters up really high back there, I would have a good chance of trickshotting that tower into the play field. But it's not hanging over that blue shelf today, so we won't be able to trick shot that into the play field, unfortunately. Anyhow, the second way I could get them towers on the blue shelves is if they have a $5 chip or a red earbud hidden in there. If I win either one of those two, I would get the cash it in. They would take every bit of them towers that's on the blue shelves, and they would put them into the play field for free. It won't cost us a dime. Well, that was a good push on the left side just then. We got a whole bunch of $5,000 chips. It looks like there's like 15 grand left in there, so let's get that out of there. Then we'll go ahead and open up them other mystery bags. And if that $5 chip or red earbud was not in there, it would cost me two times the original buy-in to get the blue shelves cleared off. And that would be like $260 million to get the blue shelves cleared off. That would end up being a $390 million buy-in in total. So it's pretty close to half a billion dollars. And I definitely don't want to pay that kind of money today. So let's just hope that $5 chip or red earbud is hidden in there somewhere. Like I said, we got all them mystery bags. Most of the time, they'll put those special chips in the mystery bags. Like if they mix those uh, special chips in with the rest of them, like with the towers and stuff, they have a good chance of getting lost and falling down those gutters, and we don't want that to happen. So anyhow, we got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely remarkable. This game is going excellent so far. So let's go ahead and open up those other mystery bags. All right, here they are. So let's go ahead and start with this pink mystery bag right here. This one feels like it's loaded up pretty well. It's not really that heavy, but I mean, that could be a good thing. Could mean there's some dice in there. We're about to find out. Oh yeah, nice. Check this out. We got three more white dice. How many white dice does that make us in total now? Six of them? That is amazing, but we're gonna need a bunch more dice than that if we're gonna make that $130 million back. So let's go ahead and open up this red one. This one feels like it's loaded up fantastically well, so let's see. Oh yeah, nice. Check this out. So we got two of the baby dice. So if you don't know what these are for, each one of these is a five times multiplier. So this right here is automatically 10 times my winnings. That is absolutely spectacular right there. And we also got the blue chip, the $5 chip, two $1 chips, the $50 chip, and the $10 chip. So this $10 chip right here, we get to cash this in, and they'll let me spin a wheel. And the wheel has all these different types of chip values on there, like $5,000 chips, $10,000 chips. Whatever that wheel lands on, that's what type of brand new tower they'll build somewhere in the play field. 
And this blue chip right here, this right here is pretty much worth two free Mr. Bags. I can cash that in. They'll add two more Mr. Bags to the play field. And the $50 chip, we get to cash this in at the end of the game. They will take anything that we've lost to them gutters, and they'll put it back into the play field and give us a second chance at winning it. And these $1 chips, each one of these is worth 500 free quarters. I get to cash both of these in. They will give me an extra 1,000 quarters. And lastly, we got the $5 chips. So like I said earlier, we get to cash this in. They will take all those towers that's on the blue shelves and they'll put them into the play field somewhere. That is absolutely phenomenal. That mystery bag was loaded up amazingly well. So now let's go ahead and open up this purple mystery bag right here. This one doesn't really feel that heavy. So let's see, what do we get? Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. We got three more white dice. That is absolutely spectacular. So anyhow, that was all the mystery bags for now. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and cash in that $10 chip, the blue chip, and both of those $1 chips. And we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, Andy Coinbusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $10 chip, both of those $1 chips, and that blue chip. They gave me an extra thousand quarters. And we got to spin that wheel, and today it landed on $1,000 chips. And we also cashed in that blue chip, and as you can see, they added two more Mr. Bags to the play field. There's like a gold Mr. Bag on that right-hand side. There's like a gray Mr. Bag on the left, so hopefully we can get those out of there. But one thing I have noticed, and a bunch of you all have noticed it too, a lot of y'all pointed it out down in the comments section, that wheel either lands on one ounce gold bars or thousand dollar chips. Like today, it'll land on thousand dollar chips. Tomorrow, it'll be one ounce gold bars. So what I'm thinking, that wheel is like on a payout rate or something. Like very seldom do we get the five or the ten thousand dollar chips or the twenty five thousand dollar chips. So what I'm thinking, that wheel will only land on twenty five thousand dollar chips like once out of 500 spins or something. So, yeah, that would be the only thing to make sense. That wheel is on a payout rate, which I don't think is fair, but I mean, it is what it is. I mean, they're in it to make money. And plus, used to, they didn't even have the $10 chip. That wasn't even a thing a couple of months ago. So, uh, I mean, hey, at least we get a free tower out of it. And they built like five massive towers of chips in there. We done got that tower on the right corner with that gold mister bag on top of it. And that uh, gray mister bag on the left, that's moving forward pretty well. And it looks like they built like a spiral tower of $1,000 chips on the pusher. I'd say that's every bit of half a million dollars or more. That's just my guess. Don't know for sure. Well, the towers on the sides are definitely moving forward faster than normal. Oh yeah, jackpot baby, nice. We got that mystery bag and that tower on the left corner. That is exceptional. So I will open up both of those mystery bags like after we get these remaining towers to fall down. I'd say we're going to get them two towers in no time. Yeah, there wasn't any towers on those corners today, which really, really made a massive difference. Oh yeah, sweet, we got that tower on the left side. Because if there's any towers or weight built up on those corners, the quarters are just going to take the easiest route or the easiest path of travel. And that would either be around the towers or it would be down those gutters on the sides. Yeah, those gutters on the sides, lots of quarters fall down those. We also lose lots of chips and stuff. But today, since we got that $50 chip, we'll get to cash it in at the end of the game. And it'll take everything that we've lost and we'll put it back into the play field and give us a second chance at winning it. Oh yeah, that tower on the pusher, it's about to go. Oh yeah, jackpot baby, nice, we got it. Oh my goodness, wow, this game right here was loaded up really, really well. And sometimes you can use that skill stop button and load up a bunch of quarters at once. And if you stack the quarters up really high back there, if you get a nice space of quarters build up behind the towers, especially the ones on the corners, it really, really helps them move. Like I've said many times before, used to I'd be playing for like three to eight hours to try to get the towers on the sides to fall down. But now that we've started using that skill stop button 
and stacking up the quarters. We get them towers on the sides to fall down with them lots. 30 minutes to 3 hours, so it's like a total game changer. And once again, thank you all so much for suggesting that technique down in the comments section. I truly appreciate it. Oh yeah, getting all kinds of thousand dollar chips in the middle. Just about got the left hand side all cleared out. We just need that tower on the right side to go. It's being a tad bit stubborn at the moment, but at least it's not over there on that corner. I think, I think we're doing a good thing right here, stacking up the quarters. Because you want a nice base of quarters to be built up behind that tower. Oh yeah, see what I'm saying? It just moved forward tremendously. It's probably going to fall backwards. Some of it may go into the payout chute. Some of it will probably land on the play field. We'll see. Just going to keep on pushing on that right hand side. Oh my goodness, it's almost there. Come on, big money. My goodness, I have no idea how that's still standing there. Nice, there it goes. Will, I'm going to say like 20% of that went into the payout chute. That, the other 80% landed on the play field. That's all right though, we got plenty of quarters. Not gonna give up till we have it all cleared out of there today. Yeah, there's a lot of money on the line today, $130 million. This was the 130,000 subscribers special video. My goal was to get there by the last day of this month, but we already got there. I think we got there like two days ago or something. So I'm gonna say this again, thank you all so much for 130,000 subscribers. It truly means a lot to me. I thought we'd never get past 20 when I first started, but here we are, 130,000, baby. All right, well, that right there was the last of our quarters, so let's go collect the quarters, and we'll get those $1,000 chips out of there. Be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. So before we continue playing, I'd like to go ahead and open up one of these mystery bags. So let's see, which one should we start with? I think we're going to start with this gold mystery bag right here. This one feels like it's loaded up decently well. So let's see, what we get? Oh yeah, nice, check this out. We got two more white dice, that is phenomenal. Oh my goodness. And plus there's still two more mystery bags on top of those $10,000 chip towers on the blue shelves. So after we get those remaining $1,000 chips right there, after we win those, I will cash in that $5 chip and they'll take all them towers and put them in the play field. Yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what's inside of those uh, mystery bags that are on the blue shelves. There's a dark blue mystery bag on the left tower, on that left blue shelf, and a brown mystery bag on top of that $10,000 chip tower on the right blue shelf. So those look like they're loaded up pretty good, to be honest with you. Looks like it has a bunch of stuff in there, so a bunch of $25,000 chips would be nice. Car keys would be even better, wouldn't it? That'd be spectacular. Yeah, I've never seen car keys in this machine before. I mean, they may put them in there someday. But as of right now, we haven't won any car keys or nothing. Oh yeah, looks like there's only four grand to go on that right corner. Let's just keep it pushing on that right hand side. Keep the momentum going. Well, I just dropped a quarter on the floor. We'll take that up here shortly. Oh, and speaking of the quarters, we got like... 36, 3700 quarters. So that should be way more than enough quarters to get the whole entire machine cleared out today. I would hope so anyway, because we're really, really going to need a good win on this game right here, because uh, I played two other games before this one today. The first game was actually a winning game, believe it or not. I think we made like $15 million profit or something. It was something around that, maybe $16 million. But goodness, that second game I played, I lost every bit of that profit within the matter of seconds. And I lost even more money. So as of right now, we're down like $35 million, which is pretty good compared to most days. Most days we're down like at least $100 million or more. So we're going to have to make like $30 million in profit on this game right here to break even for the day. But I'd say if we keep on winning all those dice out of there, $10,000 chips, don't think we'll have a bit of trouble making that uh, $30 million profit today. And keep in mind, we still got to make back $130 million. Oh my goodness, and I completely forgot to point this out. Y'all may not be able to see them. They're on top of those $1,000 chip towers back there. There's two bounty chips 
So each one of those bounty chips is worth 500 three quarters on any game I choose. Like if I win both of those, that means I could bring a thousand quarters on one game or I could use them on two different games. So let me know if you'd want to see a thousand quarters at once on the next video and I could do a thousand quarter challenge. So anyhow, we got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely incredible. This has been a magnificent game so far. So let's go ahead and open up the gray mystery bag. I almost forgot about this one. So let's see if there's anything good and valuable in this one. Oh yeah, nice. Check this out. We got two more white dice. That is outstanding right there. Yeah, I have no idea how many dice we have in total now. I'll count them up here in a second. Anyhow, let's go ahead and cash in that $5 chip and they'll move all them towers to the play field. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, a and Coin Brusher has returned. Let's get right back to work. So I cashed in that $5 chip. They took every bit of them towers that was on the blue shelves and they put them all into the play field. Most of the towers are in pretty good spots, but I'm a little bit concerned about them $1,000 chip towers back there on the moving platform. Because a lot of times whenever the towers are stacked up really, really tall, we'll end up losing them to the blue shelf. Well, that tower fell down perfectly, so that's a relief right there. Now we just need that tower on the left. Oh my goodness. Well, looks like we lost quite a few thousand old chips, but at least we didn't lose that bounty chip. That's what I was mostly worried about. And uh, whenever I cash in that $50 chip, we got one of those today. Oh my gosh, nice. That enormous tower of $10,000 chips crashed down. That is exceptional. And on top of that, we got that brown mystery bag. That is amazing. So whenever I cash in that $50 chip, they will take all that stuff that we lost and they'll put it back into the play field. Now, I think that's a new thing they've been doing used to. It would cost you 100 grand, but say that $50 chip wasn't in there today and I had no more chips I could cash in, then it would cost me 100 grand to get all those thousand old chips put back into the play field. Well, anyhow, let's get that loot chute emptied out. Oh my goodness. Wow, that loot chute is getting super, super full. Oh yeah, nice. We got that uh, dark blue mystery bag, I think, and we got that tower of 10,000 old chips. This great big old tower is about to go also. But I think now would be a good time to load up that right hand side using the skill stop button. Since we got a lot of weight and pressure built up on the left, now would be a good time to try to get that tower on the corner because say if we win all those chips and towers on the left hand side, then there's not going to be any weight. And that means the tower on the right side will barely move. So let's focus more on that right hand side for now. Oh yeah, well we got that tower on the left, all those $5,000 chips and stuff. It's pushing incredibly well today, so let's load this thing up using that skill stop button. Later on I'll probably put like a thousand quarters in there at once. I know a lot of y'all love to see that thousand quarters at once. Yeah, the quarters will start like climbing up the wall back there and it'll be like stacked all the way to the top. My goodness, this is pushing fantastically well today been a miraculous game today so far that's for sure it's been the best game i played all day like i said first game we played we made a little bit of profit like 15 million 16 million or something then that second game we lost a whole bunch of money we only got a couple of towers to fall down and we lost all of our quarters so as of right now we're down like 30 million dollars or something or it might have been 35 million i can't really remember so as long as we can make that in profit on this game right here, we should be good to go. Should be a pretty decent win, I guess. Well, wait a minute. As of right now, before we started playing this uh, $5 chip round, I had won close to $16 million in chips. Because keep in mind, we got that massive tower of $25,000 chips crashed down earlier. That was millions of dollars right there on its own. So uh, that's like 15, 16 million dollars in chips. And not counting all those dice that we won, the ones that we get to roll at the end of the game, but those two baby dice, each one of those is a five times multiplier. So that is automatically 10 times my winnings. 10 times 16 million dollars. That's like what we're guaranteed to win. So I think we've already made a profit today just off of those baby dice. Goodness gracious. Plus we got like maybe 10, 12 of the regular white dice. Oh my goodness. Well this is 
super, super exciting. I didn't even think about that until now. Wow, this might be a brand new world record win today. I think my record win was like $1.2 billion from a $100 million buy-in or something. We actually got that record win like not even a week ago. If you want to check out that video, you're welcome to. It's on the channel. Just go to my channel and just scroll down the page just a little bit and it'll say like new record win, new world record win, $1.2 billion win or something. So check that video out if you haven't already. Oh my gosh, nice! We got that enormous tower of gold. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I was worried that one wasn't going to fall down at all. And it looks like there's a whole bunch of $1,000 chips stuck in the gutter on the left. So I don't think we're going to get those anytime soon. So anyhow, let's go ahead and cash in that $50 chip. Oh wait, first we got to open up the mystery bag. So let's do that real quick. Alrighty, I'm back. So let's go ahead and open up these mystery bags. Let's start with the brown one. This one feels like it's loaded up decently well. So let's see what we get. Hopefully it's some more dice. That would be pretty sweet. Oh my goodness, wow. Check this out. We got five more white dice. That is insane. Oh my goodness. That makes like what? 15, 16 of the white dice that we've won in total now. So now let's go ahead and move on to this blue mystery bag or dark blue mystery bag. Let's see. What did we get? Oh yeah, nice. Check this out. So we got seven more gold dice. That is amazing. Yeah, this could very well be a brand new world record win today, that's for sure. So anyhow, let's go ahead and cash in that $50 chip, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, a and coin brusher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $50 chip. They took everything that had fallen down in their loot box, and they put it all back into the play field. And it turns out their loot box has not been emptied out since yesterday evening, so... Pretty much all the chips and gold that you're seeing in there, or most of them anyway, is the stuff that other people have lost to the side slots playing these games before I got here. Now this is stacked up incredibly well. There's like two enormous towers of gold. They got a massive tower of chips right there in the center. There's a whole bunch of $25,000 chips, $5,000 chips, $10,000 chips, and there's a bunch of low value chips in there also. Somebody else was probably playing the low buy-in games, like 500 million, not 500 million, but $500 buy-ins, or $5,000 buy-ins. Most of those games have the low value chips in there, so it's probably what somebody was playing. And there's a whole bunch of uh, chips on the blue shelf today. So that means that there's either a earbud or a $5 chip in there that we get to cash in. And they'll take all that stuff and they'll put it into the play field. So I would assume it's inside of that uh, sky blue mystery bag that's on top of that tower. It's either a $5 chip or a red earbud. We'll find out here shortly. That tower's like right there on the edge about ready to fall down already. Come on, big push. Oh my goodness. Well, I think we need to stack the quarters up really, really high back there. Maybe put like five, six, seven, eight hundred of them in there at once. See what happens. I think that's the best bet for now. So anyhow, hope y'all are doing good and having a wonderful day so far. Remember, if this is your first time watching and you're enjoying these videos, do me a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. Would help out tremendously. We're on the road to 135,000, I mean 140,000 subscribers. My goal is to get there by the end of September, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Well, for a minute there, I thought about saying 130,000 subscribers, but then I remembered we already got there. So the new goal is to get to 140,000 subscribers by, let's see, the end of September. So hit that subscribe button. Anyhow, we put a bunch of quarters in there at once. I'm going to say like uh, probably at least eight, 900 of them. So let's see what it does. Well, a bunch of them are getting stuck back there. That's all right. They'll break free, I'm sure. Oh yeah, they're breaking free on that left-hand side. Come on, nice push. Oh yeah, this great big old tower right there in the center. It's about ready to go. Oh my goodness, well, a bunch of our quarters are stacked up back there. Oh yeah, nice, there it goes. Well, the top half of it fell backwards, but a bunch of it got stuck. Nice, there it goes. That is absolutely phenomenal. That was a boatload of chips we just got right there. 
Oh my goodness, you know something I just now realized? Oh yeah, jackpot baby, we got that gold tower, sweet. That was a tremendous amount of gold we just got right there. I was going to say we haven't got that loot suit cleared out in a little while, but now we got it cleared out, so let's keep it going. Oh yeah, that was a brilliant push right there. That mystery bag, it's making its way toward the edge. And also, let's try to get 10,000 likes on this video right here. 10,000 likes. I know we can accomplish that. Just need everyone watching to hit that like button. I tell you what, if this video can get 10,000 likes within the first day of it being uploaded to YouTube, tomorrow I will do that $500 million buy-in. How does that sound? But only if this video can get 10,000 likes within the first day of it being uploaded to YouTube. That's the only catch to it, so hit that like button, everybody. Oh yeah, that mystery bag. Nice, we got it. Oh my goodness, and that right there was the last of our quarters also. As you can see, we have none left. So let's go collect the quarters, and we'll get right back to it. Alrighty, I'm back. So before we continue playing, I'd like to go ahead and open up the sky blue mystery bag just to see if that $5 chip or red earbud is in there. Oh yeah, nice. Check this out. So we got that red earbud. So we're going to cash that in. They'll take all those chips that are on the blue shelves and they'll put them into the play field somewhere. So I'm going to try like two more rounds. And uh, if we don't get those remaining towers to fall down, which I'd say we will, if we keep on stacking the quarters up, I'll just go ahead and cash in that red earbud. And uh, more than likely, they would rearrange all three of those towers that are on the play field right now. They might like combine them all into one great big old tower on the pusher, then they move the towers to the center. Who knows, they may build it into like a massive wall of chips. You never know. I've seen them do that before. And anyway, back to talking about what I was saying a few minutes ago about hitting that like button and subscribing and stuff. It is 100% free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I don't get paid anything when y'all hit that like button or hit the subscribe button. I mean, in reality, it just makes it a million percent easier for y'all to keep up with future videos because once you hit that subscribe button, there should be a bell icon right next to it. And if you hit that bell icon, it will give you the option to turn on all notifications. And if you turn on all notifications, you can get notifications on your phone, TV, laptop, computer, iPad, tablet, whatever device you're watching my videos on you would get notified every single time I post a brand new video. And I pretty much upload videos seven days a week, so don't miss out on any exceptional content. Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on that bell icon. That way you're notified every single time I post a brand new video. And I know there's a lot of people that don't have that notification bell turned on. Like I can see on the YouTube Studio app, like the analytics and stuff, it shows how many people out of the 140,000, I mean 130,000 subscribers have that uh, bell icon turned on. And it says only like two or 3,000 of you, so I mean pretty much that bell icon. You can turn it off at any time, but like it's not permanent if you turn it on. Pretty much like you will get a pop-up on whatever device you're watching my videos on. It will say A and B Coin Pusher posted a brand new video, and you can click on it, and it will take you right to that video. Oh yeah, jackpot, baby! We got that massive tower on the right. So now let's focus more on that left-hand side. Try to get that golden tower and that massive tower of chips and gold behind that. It's our best bet for now, I think. So anyway, like whenever I upload a brand new video. Say I upload at 7 o'clock, right? The people that have the notification bell turned on can view the video right then and there whenever I post at 7 o'clock. But the people who don't have the notification bell turned on, sometimes the video won't show up for probably like maybe 5 or 10 minutes after I post the video. Like it won't show up on YouTube. So pretty much it just makes it later for y'all to see the videos if you don't have the bell icon turned on but if you have that bell icon turned on you can watch the video right then and there as soon as it gets uploaded so like i said many times before it just makes it a thousand percent easier for you all to keep up with future content so i would highly recommend turning on that bell icon that way you're notified every single time i post a brand new video 
like I said, only three or four thousand people have that bell icon turned on. So, you're missing out big time if you don't have it turned on. It's very, very important. So, be sure you have that bell icon turned on. Anyhow, that right there is the last of our quarters. Well, we got like a couple more of them left. Might as well throw them in there. That right there was the last of them. So, tell you what, let's go ahead and cash in that red ear bud. Have them move all them chips to the play field, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, A and B coin pusher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that red ear bud. They took all those chips that was on the blue shelves, and they also took that tower that was on the left hand side there, and they combined it all into like one great big old tower back there on the moving platform. So hopefully we can get that to crash down here in just a second. Oh yeah, it's almost there. It's hanging about halfway over the edge at the moment. Now it's about three fourths of the way over. Nice, and we got that tower. That is amazing right there. So take a guess down in the comments. Let me know how much money you think I'm going to make back today from a $130 million buy-in. I'd say we've won every bit of $20 million in chips today. And that both of those tiny baby dice, that is like automatically 10 times my winning. So $20 million times 10 That'd be like $200 million, so that's insane right there. So we're guaranteed at least $200 million off of this game right here out of a $130 million buy-in. Plus we got like 15 or 20 more dice we could roll. And we got a bunch of gold today also. The gold bars, like I've said, they're just worth whatever one ounce of gold is at the moment. I think they're worth about $1,920 an ounce today, so they're going back up just a little bit. So, that's pretty good right there. Yeah, I'd say we want to get a ton of gold bars today. We got a ton of them gold dice. So, say we've won like 200 ounces of gold in total. And all those gold dice end up multiplying the gold by like 15 or something. It's going to be a massive golden win today, that's for sure. So anyhow, we got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely spectacular. This has been a magnificent game today. Absolutely magnificent. So now I'm going to call them back here. I think we've won 27 dice in total. We got 18 of the white dice and 9 of the gold dice. They will put all 27 of them dice back there on the pusher. We got to roll them on down to that lower shelf. Whatever they land on, we get to multiply our winnings and our gold by those numbers. So let's go ahead and call them back here and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, A and B coin pusher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them over here. They put all 27 of them dice back there on the pusher. So let's roll them on down to that lower shelf. Hopefully they all land on some massive numbers. Oh my goodness, those are doing exceptional so far. Well, I think one of the dice flipped over to a one, but still that's all right because the rest of them are making up for it for sure. And also keep in mind those two tiny dice on the blue shelves, that's automatically 10 times my winnings. So I think we're going to go ahead and call it quits right there. All those dice landed on some phenomenal numbers. So I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winnings and our goal by all of that, and I'll let y'all know what we've won back from a $130 million buy-in. Be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely insane. I ended up winning $20,743,000. $765 in chips and all those white dice combined ended up multiplying my winnings by 65 and in total I ended up winning $1,348,344,725. That right there is a brand new world record win. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what to say right now. Holy guacamole, this is insane. I was not expecting a win like this today. Oh my goodness. So this right here is a brand new record win. This is absolutely phenomenal. That is a massive profit right there. Oh my goodness. So be expecting some of the best videos for the rest of this week. This is just amazing. I am shocked right now. This is absolutely mind-blowing. I was not expecting to win this much money today. That is absolutely incredible. And on top of that massive win, we also got 143 ounces of gold. 
and all those skull dice combined ended up multiplying the gold by 28 and in total I ended up winning 4,004 ounces of gold today and those are around $1,920 an ounce so that means we got an extra seven million six hundred and eighty seven thousand six hundred and eighty dollars in gold today that is absolutely exceptional and last but not least we got two of the bounty chips so each one of those is worth 500 free quarters on any game i choose and let's see we also got four of the hundred dollar buy-in chips so that's four entries into the free one hundred thousand dollar buy-in giveaway so that is not bad, not bad at all for a $130 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, be sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. And also, if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of videos, that will appear on the right-hand side of the screen. And if you want to check out yesterday's video, that will appear on the left-hand side of the screen. Oh my goodness, sorry, didn't mean to bump the camera there. And anyhow, if you want to subscribe, it'll be that button up top there. So click that button to subscribe. So anyhow, we'll see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care and have a wonderful day.